Okay, that's all. Let's go. All right, so I want to leave a gift for everyone. Everyone's about to get online for a slaying of a big flying lizard. But, oh no. <laughs> he probably doesn't see. I can't spell. Okay, one down. Yeah, so I have no intentions of losing this, so I'm going to put stuff. I don't want to lose that trident. <laughs> oh wait, I need to grab pearls. Aw, I'm so disorganized. There we go. All right. Uh... <laughs> you all are spending diamonds on jukeboxes out here. <laughs> I'm st I barely have diamonds at this point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I need pearls. Thank you. That's I'm all gonna mine. craft eleven eyes of ender for now. I have five more. To and it first I broke. <laughs> like directly underneath. Yeah. Oh. I know. <laughs> but it like it's so oh yeah, I, I struck stone brick. I hear the lava portal. Oh. I found the portal. Alright. Here we are. Any per any oh my god, no eyes. Are you kidding me? We don't have enough. <laughs> We're down one eye. Use the... Y'all ready? Here we go, lads. Here we go. Chat, are we ready? Uh, oh. Alright, here we are. Got one crystal. There's an enderman that's mad. Oh no. <laughs> that's the first arrow I shot. Oh wait, that would, that would blow up his stuff. I actually don't want to do that. I, I don't want to be that rude. Okay, that did basically nothing. <laughs> 29 levels. I mean, I don't really need anything but the uh, arrows and the bow, to be completely honest. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> The dragon is done! The dragon! Oh. I want some levels. I need pick. He got the thing! He got the thing! No! He got the thing! I got the thing! Touch the thing. <laughs> Don't touch the thing! No! Okay. <laughs> the thing is secured. Okay, so I'm so sorry. Well, hi. Welcome back. Uh, you've been out for a long time. I I don't know if you're okay. But welcome back to episode four. I made a promise last episode. And I've delivered. Uh, we finished the dragon, but... I think that killing the dragon isn't all that we want from the end. I think we want something a bit cooler. Something that lets us, I don't know, fly? Yeah, let's get one of those. Are you going to do an elytra now? Yep. Alright, good luck with that. I'm going to do that awesome. tomorrow. You know, we're off. That's uh, That's a wrap for today. Um, great progress, obviously. That's a great success. You know, it's a pretty good success, I'd say. I'd say that's a good success, since we're, you know, that's an elytra, soon to, soon to be elytra. So, yeah, um, I'll see you all when I get home. Our friend Soj, Soj has gotten himself an elytra. Well, almost. But here we are, back home at last. I've had a blast recording this session, and it's been really fun actually talking to the other guys since, I mean, I talk to them regularly, but we haven't really spoken on the server a lot yet, and it's been a blast recording this session. And even though we're not, like, we're not done with the episode yet, I hope you guys enjoy that, the dragon fight. It was a fun time, and it was at late night for me because of time zones, but 
I'll see you all in the next clip. It'll be tomorrow for me, though. We're gonna get an elytra probably in the next. Oh, yeah, also after the dragon fight, this happened. Please have glowberries, please have <gasps> glowberries, glowberries. But before we do anything elytra related, I did some of the most powerful mining around. Uh, mining off camera. I did off camera mining. I have something to show you. Silk touch. We finally did it. I've been doing this for, uh, I've enchanted like 16 pickaxes in hopes of silk touch. Um, I've done a little bit of the most powerful type of mining. Off camera mining. So here's what we got. We'll do like the first ore tower of the world. So I thought that instead of music today, I should probably just speak during this little time lapse. Um, I just wanted to say I appreciate the like tiny bits of support on the series. I've been having a ton of fun and I'm looking into joining a more active SMP since I'm running this on my laptop. So it's not exactly the most high end thing ever, but I'm looking forward to doing something like that. So look out for that in the future. You can't tell me there's anything more satisfying than that. Here's all of our stuff. That's a lot of materials. We probably won't need to go mining for a long time as long as we can figure out our diamond situation a little better. Off camera mining completed. We need to get back to the elytra. And I do want to mention that I messed up the recording so there's no audio for these clips. So um, yeah, here we go. And there we are, the first end city. I really hope we have an elytra here. So no elytra here, but First shulker box. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, I can already store all this fancy gear I've gotten here. So we may not have gotten a ship from this one, no elytra, but at least we got a bunch of shulker shells and a bunch of cool gear. So uh, I guess we need to find a ship still. And there it is. Is that an elytra ship? Oh, that's incredible. We'll finally get my wings. I'm so excited. Well, here we go. Okay, come on, get out of my way, little shulker. There we go, my elytra, my wings. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is so cool. Well, I guess we ought to raid the rest of the place. And there we go, we've raided the rest, killed a bunch of shulkers, gotten a bunch of cool gear, and oh my god, it's so fun to use the elytra again. I miss this thing so much, but we better go get it enchanted. So, now that we have our elytra, I feel like we should probably help our community a little. So, one of our friends, while trying to get his elytra, uh, died in the void and lost everything. So I thought, um, I could give him some of that gear that I got while on the elytra hunt. So, here's a little bit of that. I did end up giving him a pick and a bit more armor, but I lost the clips for that, so you're just gonna have to take my word on it. I'm really sorry for how disorganized this episode has been. Okay, so, look back. I've been doing some other stuff now. I've been grinding XP here so I can get an unbreaking book for my elytra. I, at this point, I probably should have just done a uh, villager, but you know, sunk cost fallacy kind of does hurt. And I've been working on this while waiting for the skeletons to spawn. Um, been beautifying the place a bit so we have an enchant table down here now kind of mossy in here i made it so it kind of looks like it broke through that wall which i think looks kind of neat you know cracked bricks and this i think it looks neat um and i still plan on making the inside of the dungeon look kind of like this because i think it would look way cooler if there was like a rib cage almost going through here so i'm back it's been a little while and I've gotten a little bit of glimmer on my elytra. It has mending now, uh, but it still needs some breaking. So uh, I'm gonna have to keep working on that. I've kind of given up on enchanting books. So I'm probably just gonna get a villager. So on to that, I guess. And finally, I've done it. I have a m unbreaking three villager, not the cheapest thing ever. However, it is unbreaking three. <laughs> Look at that. Finally, my elytra will be complete. And I guess we should also name it. I'm thinking something like Wings to the Galaxy or, I don't know, Opening to the Galaxy. Yeah, I, th I think that's a good name for my wings. 
since you know my my username has like that star sign in there so i think it's a good one beautiful elytra fully enchanted i went on to the final project for this episode our skeleton farm doesn't really have an entrance all you have to do is just kind of remember where the water elevator is so i decided uh, let's build a giant skeleton around it so here's a quick time lapse I have to say, this build was a humbling moment for me because I walked into it expecting to make a masterpiece and I don't think I did. I, mean, I think I made something passable, but I don't think it's as... It's definitely not what I was picturing it being. I think I could have done better and I plan to come back and redo this head some other time. But for now, I think it's plenty good. It definitely illustrates that there's a skeleton farm and I'll probably redo the head off camera or something make it do it in like a creative world see if it's okay um so yeah it's definitely a humbling experience since it's not like i'm not the most fond of this build but eh, it looks okay and it does its job of indicating that there is a skeleton farm down here well anyway friends i hope you all have enjoyed this episode and you know even though it was a bit of a disorganized one i think we got a lot done i mean look at my glittery wings behind me and you know <laughs> I think it's been a fun episode. We've gotten quite a bit done, you know, massive build, and I have a lot planned for next episode. I want to do a lot of building, a lot of starting to transform this area into an area I can call home. But until next time, good bye. Whoa, hey, you appear to be at the end of the video. Um, well, I thought this was a perfect time to just say, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more of this Let's Play, because I, I certainly do, I'm very excited for the next episode. Uh, you know, you can leave a subscription if you're so inclined. But you know, overall, thanks so much for watching. I've been Hidden Gem, and I'll see you next time.